Yo, what's up? What's up, my YouTube folks? So, you catch me creating some poster designs here. And I went down to the dollar store and I got me some posters and I started doodling with a paintbrush. I went down to Hobby Lobby. I picked myself up a paintbrush like this one right here. And I started doing some calligraphy type art, you know, lettering on poster board or just uh yeah poster boards but these are like 80 cents dollar dollar store man so i got a little bit creative and started splattering some inks on there i think it was kind of cool i mean some people might be into it some people might not but what did happen you know i don't plan to make money off those if i do sell one i'll sell them for five ten or even 15 bucks each you know i don't care to make money off these posters you know but what did happen was when i started messing with it i realized it was good for your sensory it was relieving i felt like i was relieving stress as i started painting on the on the paperboard i felt my body relieving stress so it does help with uh anxiety stress and all that stuff so grab a paintbrush, grab a poster or a paper. I don't, you don't have to go get a canvas. Canvases are expensive. You can get a canvas for like nine, 10, 15 bucks. You don't want to spend that kind of money. Go get some poster papers at the dollar store and just doodle on them, man. Just do some doodling on your posters, all right? Quick little episode. I want to advise you guys that it does relieve some type of stress here, all right? If you guys are dealing with emotional problems or anything that's clogging your mind and you can't think straight this episode is for you because i want to tell you guys that you know i've been through all those uh stages where you know you have anxiety you have stress you have all these things going on in your life and you just can't put your life in order and you know it's like my other episode that i made um it's like the other episode i made the other day where i'm talking about staying in line well this is like a follow-up episode where i'm telling you guys staying in line in your line of work but in this episode is staying in line with your life man because what happens when you don't pay your credit card well i haven't paid my credit card in a couple months what happened was i started getting all kinds of new late fees you know what i mean so i got like three or four late fees because I decided that I didn't want to stay in line with my credit card. So all these late fees came in. Now I started dealing with like issues like I'm getting tickets on the road. Now I got to pay some tickets. That's me not staying in line. I got a ticket because I was a little bit speeding, but then I wasn't paying attention to my meter. You know, I wasn't in line with the accordances. I was not driving, you know, the speed limit. I was not in line with the laws. Uh, traffic laws so that's why they got me with a speeding ticket second time around three weeks later i got another ticket for being on my phone you know what i mean i got another ticket for being on my phone and guess what it really sucks because now i got two tickets to pay for uh and you know what i don't like paying tickets man I, that's what happens when you don't stay in line so you got all these things in the back of your head you know revolving around the back of your head you know you got tickets you got credit cards to pay you got maybe you maybe you got child support to pay maybe you got other issues going on health issues that you got to take care of or you got um in general just staying up with family or or business or work you know and you got all these things in the back of your head you got to take care of that are clogging your mind that's why you can't stay in line right now that's why you can't move ahead because there's these things in the back of your head just taking you down, bringing you back down. 
and that's what I'm working on right now. I'm trying to take care of those things that are clogging my mind so that I can think clearly and move ahead to the next level. The reason that I'm being held back is because I got a few things that I gotta take care of. I just got it. Matter of fact, the DMV just sent me a paper. I gotta pay my my registration fee with a smog within the next six weeks. Come on, man. It's hard to stay in line, man. Believe me, hear it from me. It's hard to stay in line. But in your life, in order to move ahead, make sure that you stay in line or at least rearrange your closet, man. If you lose something in your closet, like the other day this happened to me, I was digging around my closet to find uh, my social security card or I can't, I can't remember what it was, something that belonged to me. I was searching for it, uh, maybe my passport, I think. I uh, went into the closet where I keep all my stuff and piles and piles of stuff just falling, start falling out. What happens there? All my stuff is not in line, man. It's just everywhere. So in order for me to find what I'm looking for, I gotta rearrange my closet, man, so that I can find my item that I'm looking for. You know, it's it's that factor, staying in line. Now I gotta rearrange my closet, put everything back together, and maybe I'll find that one thing that I lost. So remember to stay in line, folks. If you got some similar things going on in your life, please remember that you gotta clean out your closet rearrange everything so that you can move ahead to your next step and do the next thing you gotta do, all right? I keep thinking about things I wanna do and then I wanna, t uh, things that I wanna do, but I'm so busy doing things that I need to do. Just needs, you know what I mean? I need to take care of that, Bill. I need to take care of that. I need to do this, I need to do that before I get there, you know what I mean? I'm trying to go to the beach this, this summer. I'm trying to be swimming out in the ocean and splashing out in the water. I'm trying to do all that stuff, but before I get there, I gotta take care of stuff here. I gotta take care of business, all right? I gotta take care of my clientele, make sure that I have enough money for me to go spend when I do go out there and have fun and have a blast. I know that I'm gonna be spending some cash, so yes, I do need to stay in line. Staying in line is as important for your business to grow because I believe that once you fall in line, a lot of pieces of your life start to fall in place. Now, I feel like my life is out of place right now. I got a lot of things to take care of. Matter of fact, I shouldn't even be making a video today because I got things to do. Till next time, folks, stay tuned, follow me, subscribe, and share my videos with people you think might need my help. All right? Till next time. The Ink Hustle Tattoo TV with Jess Campos. And we out here just having fun, man. So I hope you guys can follow me, subscribe, stay tuned with my channel. I like to post a lot of tattoo work. Also, a lot of moments like this where it's time to find your meditation spot, your place of peace, where your mind needs to recollect, your mind needs to be redialed, you know right? So, that's what I find myself doing, redialing my mind.